Hello and welcome. This is Mel Skinner, and we're back with some more The Escapist 2. And we currently have a mission to... Uh, let's just go to roll call first, because we failed to get to roll call last time. And again, I don't know if you stay in the infirmary, if that passes you as far as roll call or not. But I tried getting to roll call, and I was just a few seconds away from being able to do it. Okay, let's put that back up. We lost that during the lockdown. All right. What do we have on our character? We were stripped of everything, so that must happen when you are sent to solitary. So that doesn't mean I'm going to need another thing of putty, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to start searching desks and seeing what I can find. Okay, no, that helps. So what we're looking for is talcum powder and we have breakfast time. I'll just do a couple searches. Uh, toothpaste is one of the things I think we need for the putty. So this will be the last desk we check and then we'll check into bre breakfast. So we're good to go. All right. Check into breakfast and then I'll just go up to the top cells while we're on our way up and we'll search those. Make sure we find that talcum powder. This guard may see me here in a second. Okay, nothing there. Let's get out of the cell before we get yelled at. Okay, going to this one. All right, we're going to be seen here. Uh, no, okay, we're good. Okay. Yeah, a little bit of... in trouble there, but... All right, I'll grab the baseball again if we need an impromptu weapon. But we know exactly which guard we want to beat up this time. So we're going to have to find that specific guard. We can use the timber as a weapon as well. I mean, it doesn't really matter if we get caught with it, if we're going to be fighting anyway, or we're already doing something bad. But without the putty, we don't have the means to copy the key, and we're not going to want to keep the key for very long because... As far as I understand, if the if the guard doesn't have the key on them, that's a pretty much an automatic lockdown. So Okay, that's what that's what we need. So we'll go ahead and craft that on up. Okay. So I am gonna grab I, see, I don't know which weapons are more effective than others. Is there a weapon that we can really easily make here? Oh, I was finding socks and things. I wasn't even thinking about that. I don't remember in what desks they were. But if we find another bar of soap, we can make our own weapon. Okay. Ooh, you know what? I think you can use a battery. I don't know if that's a recipe that is easy enough to pull off. I might need the full 70 intelligence to do that. But I'll grab the battery just as a precaution. I know for a fact I saw a sock in one of these desks up here, so I think I've checked all of these ones, so we'll go over here. I might have forgotten that one, but... Okay, I think sock plus battery is a thing. I think it's one of the quote-unquote secret recipes. Okay, so I'm not sure if it's one we can pull off or not. We can try it. So, there we go. Now we have a super sock mace, so... That is going to be our weapon. Oop. Yeah, okay, now we have it. Now what we're looking for is the guard in question. So let's look around the prison until we find them. They're going to have a key over their head, letting us know that they are... Okay, they might only patrol upstairs, which is fine. That makes it easier for us to find them. Okay. Now let's take a look. Okay, there they are. Now I'm going to have to be more careful this time so that we attack only them. So there's a guard right here, maybe following the same course. Okay, this is too close to the infirmary. We won't have enough time, in my opinion, to do what we need to do. So I'm just going to wait. Looks like the guard may go downstairs, which also is going to put them fairly close to the infirmary. So... We're just going to shadow them for now. I don't think now is our time. 
It's gonna be lunch, so we'll check in on that. But we'll just keep an eye on the purple key and follow it till we've got our opportunity. Okay, good. We checked in. Okay, there goes that guard. Fortunately, this guard is seemingly never really parts of the routine. It seems to be just a guard that is always patrolling. Okay, again, this is not a good spot because it's too close to the infirmary. We're just going to follow this guy until we get the opportunity to knock him down. With, I'm hoping this weapon will have a uh, good damage potential at the very least. Oh, a guard just went down. Well, unfortunately, we weren't there to see it, so it could be another guard with a purple key. I don't know how many of these purple keys there would be. Okay, we're getting a little bit further away from the medical. Okay, I can't follow him in there, I don't think. Let's just double check, yeah. Okay, we're going to have... Another thing I'm going to have to check into, I think. Job time. Let's go do that. Okay, the guard's going to stay down there. Unfortunately, that was our time, too. So I'm going to very quickly step in here just so we check in. We don't get any stars added on. But we're going to run as fast as we can back downstairs. And we're going to try and fight this guard because uh, I think they're now in a position. Let's find them on the map. Okay, there they are. Up ahead. They're now in a position on the map where we can probably get them. So... Okay. Okay, we got him. Let's grab the key. We're going to have to be very quick here. Okay, and now we're going to have to um, get back on their body. Give them back the key. Okay, we did it. Whew. Okay, I was a little bit nervous there, but I fortunately, because I did that... Uh-oh, crap. Our heat's so high. Um, we're going to have to dodge these guys for a little while. I cannot go down. So I'm just going to have to dodge them until we find a locker and hide. So I'm going to be patient here. Find our path to a locker. I'm just going to try and make sure I avoid other guards here. Okay. I've actually lost track of where I am on the map, so... Not sure where the lockers are in relation to where I am. Okay, I, I think I know where I am now. I just have to be patient here. Shoot. Okay, well, we're going to keep running. I'm going to take them the long way around. Okay, we just got sandwiched, unfortunately. So I'm going to have to keep running here. We might have cooled off enough that we can get through this, so... I'm just going to go to my cell now. Yeah, I'm not going to check in just yet. I'm going to make a beeline for my cell. And we're going to drop off the putty. Okay. So, we did it. That's the important bit. Now let's go up to exercise time. I think we've cooled off and heat enough that we're okay. Well, okay. Yeah, get a move on. Unfortunately, that made my heat go back up. So we might get a fight here with the guards, but the important bit is that we did it. We got the key. So at this point, I don't really care what happens. We've got our way out of the, uh, the prison now. Let's go ahead and get our fitness up while we've got this opportunity. Okay, we're maxed out. We're going to go into shower time now. Okay. I'm pretty happy that that worked out. So I may try the escape tonight. I didn't get another vent cover. And that's going to be the main problem with this escape. Is not having the vent cover. So what may happen? Let's just go through what I think my escape plan is going to be. We can also take a look at the vents here and see what we want to do based off of that. My initial plan was to drop down here, go through the purple door. The problem is I don't know how the patrols work here. So let's take a look at... All right, there is a vent that drops down here, but we won't want that. We've got a vent that drops in here. That might be a viable 
place to drop down. So this is going to be free time. Okay, so this is actually not bad. We drop down here. I don't think this is patrolled. The reason why I wouldn't want to drop down on this this other area here is, but this may be patrolled. It's pretty close to the fence, so we just drop down, go. But I'm afraid that they might see the open vent cover and that would trigger a lockdown. So we might get in trouble with that. But here, we could drop down, come through the door. This is not locked, so we won't need a key for it. Come through, have our purple key. Boom, we're through, and then boom, we're through the fence. Now, I don't know how the lights work. I think there's searchlights during the night, and I really don't know how that works. So, hopefully, we don't run afoul of that, but I think we have everything we need. Okay, I do need to get to dinner time, though. Crap. All right, we might get a half star here, as I was too absorbed in my escape plan. But half a star is not going to be the end of the world. Roll call would have hurt more than dinner time. Okay, we're on free time. So now that we know what the strategy is, let's go ahead and start doing all the preparation work. I have a lot of items I'm going to need to craft. So let's go through and do them one at a time. Well, we don't really need a baseball anymore. Let's get rid of that. That was just as a temporary item. It's counted as a weapon. I just had that if we had nothing else to fight a guard with. Okay, so let's just go ahead and stash that in this guy's cell. Okay. So, we're going to need this and this. We're going to need this, this, and this. So, first things first, I'm going to craft the guard's outfit. So, first thing I need is to bleach the outfit. And then I need to dye it. So, now we have a guard's outfit, which is, of course, contraband. So, we're going to have to stash that. Let's go ahead and grab uh, this, because we're going to need that for crafting. And stash that back in there. Okay. Now we're going to craft a key. So first thing we're going to need is molten plastic. We're going to craft. And then we need to make a key mold. Which is there. Craft. Okay, now we have got the fake key. So let's go ahead and stash that in our compartment. We don't really need duct tape anymore, so I'm going to take that, stash that. So this is everything we need to do our escape. Pretty happy with that. Okay. Let's go ahead and... Was there an item I wanted to put away somewhere? Yeah, I don't need the duct tape anymore, and I guess I don't need the weapon either. So we'll dispense of that. Okay, well, now we have everything we need to do this breakout. I'm not going to do it yet, of course. But the idea is we put on the guard outfit. We use a screwdriver. I might as well take the one that is in good health. We take the cutter tool and we put the bed dummy in our bed, of course. Now we're going to have to wait until night to do all this stuff. So the game plan is, let's go over it again. Just make sure we know what we're doing. So we're going to follow the vent system. We're going to open this one up. We're going to go through here. Oh, okay. I can't get to that vent by the main vent system. So honestly, I don't see a path that... Ooh, what's this over here? Um, let's see what the first floor looks like. Okay, so that's a yellow cell. That's not going to help us. Okay, so I guess that is the only exit we have that is not going to be super visible. So that's what we're going to go for. I don't like that as much, but we're going to drop out here. So this is the only part of the plan that may fall apart, depending on how the guards patrol. So we'll go through our vent. We already have a fake vent, so that should be fairly quick. We're going to go up into the vent. We're going to open this. We're going to drop down. We're going to go through the purple door with our key. We're going to then cut through the fence. So that's the game plan. And I... I think it will work okay. I think we have everything we need. If it doesn't work, it will be a bummer because I'll have to re... I'll have to get a lot of the things back, but I'm hoping... We don't have a means to get back in our cell, but I'm hoping with what we do have, I can at least use that guard outfit and maybe wait out the roll call, run into my room once it unlocks, and then change my outfit back to my prisoner's garb, then go to roll call. 
obviously stashing all of the things that we'll need. So that's the cont contingency plan if it doesn't go right, but uh, hopefully it goes right. So now what we're going to need to do is just hit roll call and we can go right into our cell. Now, as far as I understand, we have to wait until one in the morning before the guards on the perimeter go away. If we go outside during that period, I think we'll get shot at. And more than likely, we're going to want to break through here at the time that that happens. Like, we, we want this to be open as little as possible. We want to break through this, get in, go through this door, and get through the fence as fast as we possibly can once we have broken this vent. So we're going to hold off until that 1 o'clock time. Let's go ahead and get into our cell, and we're going to start putting the things in our inventory to do this. Okay, so we're going to need the guard outfit, we're going to need the plastic key, we're going to need a screwdriver, we're going to need the bed dummy, and we're going to need a set of cutters. And I'm going to take the adrenaline shot as a precaution in case we need some energy or something. Okay, so first things first, let's put on our guard outfit. Okay, we've done that. I'm going to then go into my storage compartment. We'll put back in our inmate again as a precaution. We're going to pick this up. We're going to put it down. I am also going to grab the bed dummy. I'm going to put that in. I don't know how necessary this is, but we'll just do that again so that our plan doesn't go awry. Okay, so I'm now going to switch over to the screwdriver because we'll need that. Let's uh, take the cover and go up. I am then going to grab the cover and put it back down. Okay, so we're not quite at 1 a.m. yet. So let's get our screwdriver back out. Oh, crap. There's a guard literally right there. Okay, we're going to have to wait until this guy goes away. I wonder if he ever does go away. I can't really see... ...necessarily... ...if the guard ever leaves. Alright, well... ...my plan might not work then. If this guard always patrols this area... ...we might have to drop down somewhere else. I'm not gonna for abandon this, but... ...that's the one thing I didn't check, is I didn't check... Guard patrols. Oh, okay, there's no guard there anymore. According to what I, I see here. So, okay, he just must have left. Okay, so let's start working on this. Uh-oh. Okay, we're good. Okay, let's go down. Okay, let's switch over to our cutters. Okay, we're gonna have to be quick here. Did it. All right, we got out of our... How are we doing for tapes? Crumbs, it's the guards. And action! <laughs> oh, come on! Alright, well, it looks like the uh, film crew ratted me out there. But we did it! Perimeter breakout. So, let's see what we got here. We've got an E rating. I don't know what that means. We have a few coins here. I'm not exactly sure what these mean. We got finished day five. So that's pretty good. That was a pretty good breakout. I'm pretty pleased with that. And then again, that was just trying to be nice and simple and quick. And this is an easy prison, so it worked. Other prisons I'm sure are going to be harder and these tactics won't necessarily work. But hey, it worked this time. In any case, I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. This is Mouse Gunner signing out.